right. Hey, it is Dr. Shell. Thank you for coming. Right now we're looking at unit five, lesson three, um, right triangle trigonometry. This is definitely one where you have to memorize the formulas. You probably have heard of the saying Soka Toa. Um, I make my students watch really ridiculous YouTube videos that just keep repeating Sokoto over and over and over again. And like one of them is like, you know what it is, Sokotoa, Sokotoa. Yeah. So if you want to memorize it, go into YouTube after you watch this video and just type in Sokotoa songs and you will get enough that will drive you insane that you will remember the formulas for your test. I don't know how else to say it, but it's the truth. Um, right now, uh, the only formula that they, they do give you um, that would help us with these would be the Pythagorean theorem. That'll help us with question number one. The rest is we will have to rely on Sokotoa. Okay. Um, given the right triangle to the right, what is the measure of x? Well, we're given two side values, but we're not given the hypotenuse. So the College Board gives you this formula. So we'll go over here. Now, some of you already know the answer to this. Remember, anytime we use formulas, I like you, whoops, I like you to type it in. Um, I like you to type the formula in without doing the substitutions just because um, it's just so much easier when we do that. Okay, I need to put all and then unclick C. Okay, so um, we have the square root of 21 is A. So we'll go down here and hit the square root button and type in the square root of 21. And then our B value is the square root of 28. And then, oh, it should have worked. That's what I forgot. I forgot to make the C squared an X squared. Okay, so the reason why we have to make it an x squared, and let me rewrite this, is because the graphing calculator doesn't know what c means. So we can still use the slide tool for the a squared and b squared, but we want the solution, so that's why we have to substitute x squared in, and we can see that the solution is clearly 7. Okay, what is the sine b? Okay. And it should really be, what is sine B? So what is sine B? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we think of Sokotoa, we have sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Ka is cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And Toa, which is tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So it wants sine B. So I know I'm going to have, here's angle B. I typically have my students label the hypotenuse first because most people know what the hypotenuse is. It's the longest side and it's also the side opposite the right angle. Then I like them to draw an arrow across the triangle to get the opposite and whatever side is left is the adjacent. So for doing sine B, my opposite is six my hypotenuse is 10. The issue is that's not a reduced fraction. Hopefully right away you're like, Doc, it's 3 fifths. It is. The other option is to type in 6 tenths into decimos and then hit this fraction bar. And this is where you can get 3 fifths. What is cosine B in radical form? So cosine is, wow, that should be a C. Um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So here's my angle B. Here's my hypotenuse. It's the longest side, opposite, and adjacent. So notice the B is in a completely different place, but the pattern still works. The longest side will always be the hypotenuse. The side that doesn't touch the angle will always be the opposite. So because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. My adjacent side is 3 radical 5. My hypotenuse is 9. Now, this is one where I don't think the graphing calculator is going to help us too much. Um, so we would just have to, well, the, 
the way it could help you is you could type in the 3 ninths, but not the radical. And that will give you the fraction form. So basically, it'll tell you to reduce these. So the answer would be the square root of 5 over 3. And basically, all I did was like, you should just know, well, 3 can go into 3 and 9, and I can reduce the fraction. But you can use this function. The issue is, is if I put the square root of 5 up here, I would get a decimal that's irrational, and I couldn't reduce it. So that's why we would leave out the irrational number, 3 fifths, um, in order to reduce the fraction and then put the irrational number back in, which was the square root of 5. All right, so we just have page 92 in my book. We did the basic examples on Khan Academy Unit 5 Lesson 3. In the next videos, we will look at some harder questions. All right, goodbye.